I have something left to say to you, dear brothers, and it is very important. The Lord has his calendar. We, well, the world has changed and has done as the enemy has put. And the men who have allowed themselves to be instigated by him as Gregorian and all these people have made and unmade, but God has his calendar. The Lord wishes with all his heart that we understand the time that runs his calendar because many prophetic events run on this calendar. In fact, when I mention this pattern of Jerusalem with what is now from 2015 onwards, we see that all of these events have been under God's calendar patterns. So the enemy knows it. That is why he has wanted to mislead us from all this and put all the pagan festivals that have been and that will be through for entertainment. But we have to go back to the old paths to be repairers of gates and roads, close those gaps, so that then we can know what God wants for each one of us and that we know where we stand. So it is my wish and prayer that we understand this so that we realize in the time that we are living and why the things that are happening are happening. So these two of the festivities have a lot of spiritual sense too of how we, through this, God wants to get us out of Egypt through the Passover, to grow in Him like the sheaf, like that little plant that grows. Now later then, that we receive His Holy Spirit as at Pentecost, so that later we can give the trumpet blast, the loud cry to the world. Then, now comes the Day of Atonement, so that it is there decided, so who is cut off or who is left in the people of God, so that then we go to Tabernacles, which is the moment where the angels are going to take us to the mountains, where God has already prepared for that final time, already at the end, after the loud cry, so that then we are there sheltered for His coming. So all of this has a pattern, not only of events, but a spiritual pattern of spiritual growth. And it is very important, because that is why God, dear brothers, is calling us to get out of Egypt. He is calling us to celebrate Passover, that we go to the countryside to learn to depend on Him and nurture on Him through His Holy Spirit, His Word, the Spirit of prophecy, of what He wants to reveal to us. That is why He is calling us to this, beloved, because if we deprive ourselves of this, we are going to deprive ourselves of being able to have that growth that God wants intimate with each one of us, of Him teaching us, that intimate teaching that He wants so that we learn and grow in Him, so that we are prepared for Pentecost, which is the outpouring of the Holy Spirit of God, so that we can give that final trumpet blast that is the loud cry, so that it is already known who is in the people of God and who is not. In the day of atonement, and there we be able to go home, dear brothers. That is why God is calling us. That is why it is important to go out into the countryside. Let's not see it as the provision. Let's not be afraid to put the step in front and obey what God wants from each one of us. It doesn't take much to do this, all we need is to say, Lord, I want to do it. Open doors for me, and I will walk in your name. And you will see that heaven is going to open doors that nobody will be able to close. And it will close doors that nobody will be able to open. And it will open a broad and wide path so that we can fulfill his will. Because God what is waiting for is a people that rises and fulfills His will to prepare them for this time so final that we have on top of us and so solemn so that the preparation of those of us 
who want to do the will of God depends on us giving that loud cry at the end so that then many can join us as we can go home. Dear brothers, we are on the borders of the heavenly homeland. Let us not hesitate. What we have is to be faithful to God in all things and the Lord is going to finish the work that he started in each one of us and will give us the victory in his name, by his grace, by his power, by his blood. May the Lord bless you.